السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم I'm so happy to be here standing in front of you, mashallah, and I know a lot of you. I know quite a lot of you. Do you know that? No. How? I saw you watching the TV, didn't I? Uh, yeah. All the guys who put up their hands, a lot of them I know them, because from behind the screen, I was looking at you, wasn't I? Was that? Wasn't I? Anyway, okay, that's not true. That was just maybe to catch you out, mashallah. I'm so happy to be here this morning with you. I'm spending a few moments here, and what I want to tell you is two or three things. The first thing is, if I have a tree, and I'd like to cut the tree because it's in the wrong place, what do I need to do? Can anyone tell me? Yes. What do I need to do? Speak loudly and tell me. Yeah. I leave it there. I need to cut it. I need to chop it off. So if I want to cut a tree, what do I need to do? Can anyone tell me? Yes. Yeah. Subhanallah. I need to work hard, I need to call someone, or I need to buy an axe and I need to make sure that I, I start cutting the tree. It might be an electric saw, isn't it? An electric saw. And I might have to call a professional and make sure they don't drop the tree in the wrong place and so on. But I need to do something. And I need to do something quickly. Yes. I need to make dua as well, isn't it? Wow, mashallah. That was good. And... I tell you what, without working hard, will I get anything? Will I get the tree away if I just sleep every day and say the tree needs to go? Will it go one day? No. It won't. Nothing just goes like that. If you need to do something, you need to get up and work hard. Why I say this is because today you are here, you are trying to learn something. Am I right? If you just say, I need to learn, oh, it's a good school, mashallah, I got all these books, they're lovely. Are you going to learn? No. You need to work hard, you need to open your books, you need to get there on time, you need to talk about it. You need to talk to one another, you need to go back home and tell your mom and dad what you learned, and your brothers and sisters what you learned and how you learned it. Am I right? Yeah. So how many of you go home and tell your parents, this is what I learned today? Put up your hand. <laughs> Mashallah. If that's true, then we're all heading in the right direction. Someone will come to cut the tree, don't worry, inshallah. Mashallah. So that's the first point I want to raise, and that is, work hard. If you want to achieve something without working very hard, you will not achieve. Everyone who's got something in life, they've worked hard to get it. I had to come here today. I worked hard to come here. Do you know that? So hard. If I tell you what I was doing and how I ended up coming here, You'll be shocked. One or two of these guys here know how I got here. And, and it was only an effort that I had put. If I didn't, I would still be fast asleep. SubhanAllah. So, an effort is required if you'd like to achieve anything. Secondly, the people you live with, the people you live with, mostly your parents, your brothers and your sisters, it's very, very important that you respect them, you speak well to them, you have to, because if you want goodness, you speak well to those who mean most in your life. Can I ask you a question? If two policemen walk into here, would you ever scream and yell at them? Why? Why? Yes. It's rude, it's bad. Why else? Yes. Wow, I wanted that answer, mashallah. If you scream and shout at them, they might take you to jail because they are police. Yeah. So if two policemen came in here, you would actually have to speak to them with respect. You cannot scream and yell. And if they tell you stand up, what will you do? Stand up. Stand up. Can anyone say, I don't want? 
Can you say, I don't want, I'm not interested. What will happen? Uh, he might give you big eyes, uh, you know, look at you and you start uh, freezing. Can happen, isn't it? So, why I say this is because we respect them because we believe they protect us, isn't it? If they come in here and they pick up one person and take him away, everyone's going to think, what wrong did this person do, isn't it? So, our parents and those we live with protect us in a bigger way. The clothes we have, where did we get them from? <coughs> yes. The shops. Who bought them? Whose money? Our parents. In most cases, our parents. In some cases, your guardians. Those who are looking after you. So, they spend money on us. They paid for our clothing, our food and so on, they perhaps have brought us to school and back. When we go home and they say, please come here, do you say, no, I'm watching TV? No. Is that what you're going to say? No. You're going to have to stand up and you need to know they are more important than the two policemen that we were talking about a few minutes ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if your parents tell you, come here, what would you do? Come you would go there, subhanallah. Would you? I hope you're telling me the truth. I hope you're telling me the truth, inshallah. May Allah grant us goodness. So, those we live with, we must respect them. We must obey them. They want to protect us. They want to look after us. Don't get upset. If you say, Dad, I want this toy, or I want this phone, or I want this, and Dad and Mom says no, you say, okay, no problem. No problem. If you say no, you know, it's better for me not to have it. Because if a policeman walks into here and says, give me your phone, what will you do? Give him the phone. Because he, he wants it for whatever reason. Am I right? So if your parents tell you you're not supposed to have a phone, then you are not supposed to have a phone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and may He open our doors. So what was the first point I mentioned? When I started here, I said, if you want to do something, then you have to work very hard. hard. The second point I said is, you must respect those whom you live with. Those whom you live with, isn't it? Your parents and so on. And your teachers, those who teach you, you need to respect them. You need to listen to what they have to say. You need to understand that if you respect them and if you listen to what they have to say, you will achieve a lot. If your teacher tells you uh, one plus one is two, can you say no, it's three? No. Can you say that? Why? Because that's your teacher. But when your teacher tells you not to do something and you do it, then you are busy saying one plus one is three. It's the same thing. If your teacher tells you not to do something, not to, for example, lie, and you keep on lying, then you saying oh, five minus three uh, is eight. Is five minus three eight? No. No. So what is it? Three. Yeah. Two, subhanallah. You know it's two. So why do you know it's two? Because you listened to your teacher at one stage. And it becomes more and more complex. So if you respect your teachers and you listen to them, you will be able to achieve a lot. You will be able to achieve a lot. MashaAllah. Am I right? Yes. Alhamdulillah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us goodness and to open our doors. Another thing we need to know, and this is the last point I'm going to raise, is... We need to be disciplined. Do you know what discipline means? Yes. When you get told off. Discipline, when you get told off, you can become disciplined, yes? What is discipline? Yes. Mature character, conduct, development, development of character, conduct, and so on. Uh, if you are... If you follow rules and you follow regulations, you are disciplined. You, you need to understand, I am a Muslim. I follow rules, I follow regulations. I will not swear, I will not lie, I will not cheat. I'm not going to scream and yell. I'm not going to just wear whatever I want to wear, even if it is not right. You know, sometimes people wear clothing that's not right. And they know that in Islam, they're not supposed to be wearing it. And they know they're supposed to be disciplined. Which means they follow the rules and they, they follow them. But... Some people sometimes are not bothered. If that's the case, then one day as we grow older, we don't want to regret what we did when we were younger. So we need to follow rules. If your school has rules, you need to follow them. Am I right? If the school says, come at 8 o'clock, what time do you come? 8 o'clock. 
o'clock. Can you just come at nine and say, ah, I was busy? Can you do that? No, you need to come at eight o'clock. If the school says, no cheating, will you cheat? No. No cheating, mashallah. So the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us to do certain things and not to do certain things, we need to learn that and we need to be disciplined inshallah. We must not be unruly, scream, yell, swear, shout, lie. All these things are not for us. We need to be we need to be focused and we need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also laid down rules and regulations in order for us to succeed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all success. Okay, I have a little surprise. I have a little surprise. I want to ask you a few questions and I want to give you guys something who answer those who answer the questions, okay? And I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose from you and I'm going to give you something, right? Is it fine? Inshallah. Sheikh, you don't mind? This is a set of DVDs. It's Pearls of Peace from the Noble Quran. It's got uh, quite a bit of uh, material from the last Ramadan. It was recorded. Inshallah, it's an original copy. And I'm going to give it away to someone here. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. You have to be five years old, right? Who is five years old? Okay. You have to be five years old. Tell me two things I said today. I'm going to pick someone. I'm going to pick anyone. Tell me two things I said today. Don't be unruly, okay? Okay, this girl seems very enthusiastic. Stand up. Tell me two things I said. What was the first point I raised? The first thing I said was? Who remembers the first thing I said? Okay, sit down, sit down. Who remembers the first thing I said? Yes. Uh, you said about a tree. And yeah. What was the point I was making? Hard work. Okay, there you are. Stop. Mashallah. Oh, What's your name? Ismail. Do you know how I knew that was your name? When I walked inside, you were smiling. Mashallah. Because it's my name as well. Mashallah. We share the same name. Mashallah. My name is Ismail as well. Okay, we've got, now that's the DVDs are gone, okay? Now they're MP3s, now we're going to someone older. You have to be 10 years old. So, who's 10 years old? Put up your hand. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question from what I did not say, okay? Name me the five most important prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to be 10 years old. Yes. Stand up. Muhammad sallallahu Isa alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam. No cheating. Yeah. He's very important Nabi, but he's not one of the top five. Known as Ulul Azm. The top five. Anyone else wants to try? Yes. Yes. Stand up. Wait, wait, wait. Sit the girl behind you. Yes. She had quite a few of them right, so you just need a small droplet. I can't hear you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then, Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. Sorry? Isa? She said Isa? Isa Alayhi Salam. Musa alayhi salam. One, one, one. Come on, you did very well. Okay, sit down. Sorry, what did you say? Yusuf alayhi salam, sit down. Yusuf alayhi salam, very important Nabi, but not one of the top five. Okay, I just want the one name now, just the one name. Yes, sister. Adam alayhi salam, top Nabi, but not one of the top five. Yes, right. Are you 10 years old, guys? You right at the back with the, with the glasses. What's your name? Sorry? Hamza. Okay. Who? Dawood alayhi salam, mashallah. But not one of the most important. Yes. Yes. Prophet? Who what? 
Nuh, mashallah, you're right. Alhamdulillah. There is a verse of the Quran where Allah makes mention of these names. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ مِيثَاقَهُمْ وَمِنْكَ وَمِنْ نُوحٍ وَإِبْرَاهِيمَ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى بْنِ مَرْيَمَ The five of them. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon them. This is yours. You can come and get it down here. Sorry? You can come down. Yeah. MashaAllah. Okay, should we ask more questions or is the time up? Okay, should we ask questions from what I said or from general knowledge? General knowledge. Okay, subhanAllah. Okay, subhanAllah. Okay, what I said was general knowledge as well. SubhanAllah. Okay, um, who can tell me which surah of the Quran has no meme in it. Anyone can answer it. No age limit. Which surah of the Quran has no meme in it? Yes, with the with the pink spectacles. Surah Kauza? Correct. MashaAllah. Okay, we've got three more. We've got three more. If we keep quiet, we can carry on. If we don't keep quiet, we will not carry on. What do you want to answer? I haven't yet asked the question. Okay. Uh, this is a very tough question. Uh, it's a very tough question. Should I ask a very tough question? Okay, okay. Which verse of the Quran? Or let me let me okay, let me ask it the way I am. Which verse of the Quran has in it the most means? I think you need to be a hafid to know this. Who's a hafid here, inshallah? Okay, that's a bit too tough, isn't it? Who, who knows the answer? Uh, no, not so much. Who knows the answer? Do you know the answer? Which, which verse of the Quran has the most means? Is it Surah Al-Bara? No, my brother. Okay, I'll read the verse for you because I don't think... Yeah, do you know the answer? Will you read the verse for us? Yes. No, it, it doesn't have the most memes. How many memes? How many memes do you think that one verse can have? Five? No. Ten? No. No, we're guessing. Okay, let, okay, let me read the verse. Okay, can I read the verse? No. No. Okay, yes. What do you want to say? Okay, listen to the verse. Qila ya Nuhu hbidu bi salamin minna wa barakatin alayka wa ala umamin min man ma'aka wa umamun sanumatti'uhum wa umamun sanumatti'uhum thumma yamassuhum minna adabun alim How many memes were in there? How many? No, about 20. Okay, that was, that was definitely a very hard question. Okay, next time we'll ask the question, put your hands down, that question is now cancelled. Officially cancelled, inshallah. We'll ask you an easier question, okay? We'll ask you an easier question. Who can name me? Who can name me? One of the females who accepted Islam first. Yes. First.
Yes. Yes, you. It, it says something like Moshino on your. Khadija bint Khawalid radiallahu anha. This is for you. MashaAllah. <laughs> Okay, now, now this is not a question, but this is Zakalaka. Uh, who has never ever missed a single day here at this madrasa? Not a single day. Subhanallah. Okay, that's very good. MashaAllah. Okay, there's quite a lot. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, mashallah. Allah grant you goodness and ease and Allah bless you all. Mashallah. Uh, who is the who is the, the littlest, the youngest of the lot here? Anyone? What? The youngest lot. So that's a little bit tough. Okay, okay, I'm gonna ask you a very easy question. A very easy question. Very easy question. What was the name of the cave where the Prophet ﷺ was when revelation came to him? When revelation came to him. The boy with the orange at the back. Sorry? Hijra? Did you say Hijra? Did you say Hira or Hijra? The first one, did you say Hira or Hijra? The first one or the second one? Sorry? No, he has to make his mind up. Hira or Hijra? Which one? The first one or the second one? Okay. He said Hijra. You said Hijra? That's the wrong answer. Now everyone knows the answer, SubhanAllah. Now everyone knows the answer, MashaAllah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's be fair, let's be fair, inshallah. Let's be fair, inshallah. In that little corner, we haven't even spoken to anyone. So, the girl right at the end. What was it? Say it again. Hira, say Hira. Yeah, the cave of Hira. The cave of? Hira, mashallah. Come and take your, your disc, inshallah. Okay, okay. Okay, the last one left, inshallah. Put your hands down. Who can read for me Surah Tulu? Which Surah? Which Surah? No. Who can read for me Surah Tul Fatiha? Okay, I, I, I can pick on anyone now because I think everyone can be sort of to try today, inshallah. Okay? There is a little girl at the back there with a the blue, yeah? Come here, come and read sort of to try for us. Inshallah, we will all uh, make an effort to learn our Quran, Inshallah. We will all learn our little surahs, Inshallah. The next time I come, Inshallah, uh, I might ask you to read the whole Quran, Inshallah. Is that fine? Yeah. Oh, okay, we, 
we be realistic, inshallah. May Allah bless you all. Uh, like I said, can we settle down a little bit? Like I said, inshallah, it was really a pleasure to be here. I thought of bringing in some CDs of my own accord because I thought it might uh, at least, you know, uh, do a little bit of good, inshallah, and I hope that you can benefit from it. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiya Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ذكر علم ونور الحاملات سنة ونور والرسمات هنا سرور يا حلوات الكاسنين